Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It's been a while since I've done a review video, so I'm super excited to get back into it. Uh, right here we have a 2022 Hyundai Sonata. This is the inline version, and it also has the night edition. So this one looks really good. Um, this one's black on black, has black wheels and everything like that. And this is my first time filming a Hyundai, so this will be kind of new for me. So let's go ahead and start off here in the front. You see here we have some LED reflector headlights. Um, we have an LED accent right there. No fog lights on this one, but the grill is really cool looking. Um, it's nice and open for this inline version. Coming to the side over here, you can see we have an inline badge. And we have these really cool 245, 45, 19 inch tires on here. Really cool design, it even has like a little N in there. Red brake calipers, they are upgraded rotors for the inline. It's 13.6 inches in the front. And then it's 12.8 in the rear over here. Only has 10,000 miles. Oh, looks like we have a car over there backfiring. This color is really nice as well, this black metallic. You can see the crystals in it. Well, I hope you guys can see it on the camera. This really cool uh, light bar in the back here with this uh, carbon fiber uh, baby spoiler right here. I don't know if that was added on by the previous owners or if that was already on there, but um, it looks good nonetheless. It also has a backup camera. And it says Hyundai Sonata in the back there. And uh, Hyundai really went uh, went wild with the design on this car because it doesn't really look like any other mid-size sedan. I mean, I guess it look, kind of looks like the Honda Accord as far as like the shape and everything, but definitely an interesting looking car. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, pop the hood and see what we're working with here. All right, guys, so right off the bat, it does have hydraulic hood struts, which I really like because a lot of cars are doing the prop rod, just like my own GTI, they still have a prop rod. Um, but this one is the 2.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder that Hyundai makes. It has 290 horsepower and 311 pound feet of torque in this model. They also use it in the Veloster and in some other vehicles as well. Um, so far, I've driven it to the back here. It drives really good and has a lot of torque, but we're gonna get to the driving portion a little bit later in the video. All right, guys, go ahead and hop inside here. Uh, it does have smart key access. All you have to do is put your hand on the door to open it. And then there's a little pad right here where you hold that to lock it. Very simple, very easy. Let's go ahead and open it back up here. Looking at the door panels here, um, we do have soft touch material right here. We have a nice like leather type material right here. Um, got your window controls, your mirror controls, all that stuff there. This one does have a nice power driver seat with these really cool inline seats. They hug you in nicely and they feel really comfortable as well. All right guys, just hopped inside the Hyundai Sonata here. Let's go ahead and start it up. Now one thing that's really cool about these new Sonatas is the, the screens. So like this screen is really big, really fancy, very high definition. I know it's flashing on the camera, but it's really not flashing. Then we have this middle screen that's really nice as well. I'm still trying to learn it. There we go. So there's all kinds of stuff you can go through here. It's a really fancy system. I'm sure if you know Hyundai's, you know how to use that system. Looking down here, we have dual zone climate control, heated seats. You can see it even has a temperature on there, which is really nice. Ford used to do that in like the F-150s and stuff. But for the newer ones, they just have it on the screen. They don't have it on the dials anymore. Coming down here, we have USBs right here. It looks like this one is a fast charging one because it has a little charger logo on it. Um, it looks like we have a wireless charging pad right here as well. This is the push button shifter, which is kind of cool. Um, you know, it looks a lot more modern and stuff. There is a lot of gloss black plastic right here. So it does look a little grungy, kind of have to wipe it down really good. Um, we got a little drive mode switch here and auto hold. So let's check out these different drive modes. Oh wow, that looks really cool. Sport looks really cool. Sport Plus looks cool. Custom. Wow, that's really awesome. Let's see what else we got on the steering wheel here. So this is to go through like different information here. Got your trip info, more gauges. Those gauges look kind of cool. Let's go to those gauges. There we go. Uh, voice command controls, and then all your radio controls over here. You do have these really fancy paddle shifters on the back of the steering wheel as well. Opening up the center console area, there is a little lever. It's a pretty decent amount of room in there. It looks like they don't have any lights or anything like that, but it is nice. Looking over here, got a pretty decent sized glove box as well. And just the overall interior is really um, upscale looking at least. Like it, it's really upscale, um, has this nice uh, like, leather stitch dash has this really nice bose premium sound system we got a speaker there speaker in the corner speaker right here speaker right here so the sound system is really good as well looking up top here we have led lighting so you can see there led lights 
There's really cool panoramic sunroof that covers the whole top of the car. You also have a frameless mirror with the garage door home link on it. Well, let's go ahead and check out the back seat and see what the back seat looks like. All right, guys, go ahead and check out this back seat here. So right here we have soft touch material just like the front, so that's nice they didn't cheap out on the back. Let's go ahead and hop inside these rear seats and uh, see what they feel like. So it's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. I thought with the roof line that the headroom would be horrible, but they had these cool little like indentions like right here. So um, you do have a little bit of extra headroom, but I am awkwardly tall. So most people would be able to fit back here just fine. Then let's go ahead and check out this console. Got two cup holders, that's nice. We also have two air vents back here and a, a smart charging USB. They have these cool little nets on the back of the seats as well. Back seat's all right, but definitely want to be in the front seat of this car, especially if you're tall like me. All right, guys, press the button. It does open up automatically, which is really cool. You can see we have lots of room in here as well. We have a cool little net for like groceries, stuff like that. Let's see what's underneath this thing. Okay, it looks like we also have a spare tire and a jack. That's cool. There's quite a bit of room in here. It's not like it's big, but it's not as big as I thought it would be, but it is definitely really good. But now let's get to my favorite part and let's take the Sonata inline for a spin. All right, guys, we're ready to rock and roll. Um, if you guys don't know, I have a 2022 uh, Volkswagen GTI, and I'm very curious to see if this car feels faster than the GTI. Some people say it is. I've seen some videos that say otherwise and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and see how it feels. This car has an eight speed wet dual clutch and it's really smooth when you're driving. When you take off from a standstill, it's a tiny bit rough. It's not bad at all compared to some DCTs I've experienced, but you do notice a little bit of, uh, a little bit of roughness when it engages from a standstill. But when you're driving, it is extremely smooth. The gear shifts are smooth, you can't even feel them. And these gauges look really cool. The steering wheel is pretty nice as well. I'm not a huge fan of having like the multi spokes on it like the steering wheel has like a gazillion spokes like here 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 but um it does feel pretty good though it has a nice uh 93 grip and then these paddle shifters are pretty nice as well so i'm going to take off in normal mode first and then i want to put it in the sport plus mode and see how it is all right here we go Oh, it actually took off really smooth there, so maybe I take that back. All right, let's go ahead and accelerate normally. Wow. I'm barely even stepping on it, it's flying. Wow, that is really amazing. Okay, we gotta turn off that lane keeping system. That's, that's not safe. There we go, turn that off. Wow, that is really impressive. You can definitely feel that 311 pound-feet of torque, 100%. And it's so smooth too, like the dual clutch is really smooth in this car. Yeah, it's really good. So I take it back, even from a standstill, it still feels very smooth. But I wanna put it in Sport Plus now and uh, see if we can get a little acceleration here and see how it compares to my GTI. For my own personal sake, you guys probably don't care, but I'm curious to see how it feels compared to the GTI. So now we're in Sport Plus. The gate has got really cool looking. And the exhaust is pretty cool on this too. Like you can hear a little, a little buzz back there. It's not loud or anything like that, but neither is my GTI. I'm just curious to see how quick this thing is. I do want to test out the paddle shifters too. And step on a little bit here. Wow, that is really good. Holy crap, that is really fast actually. Let's try a little little one right here. Wow, this car is really fast actually. Jeez, the front tires like to spin a lot in this one. Com compared to the GTI, the GTI doesn't spin that much. But wow, is this thing fast. All right, let's try the paddle shifters now. Let me switch hands here. Okay, there we go, second gear. <laughs> wow. Very smooth downshifts. 
And like I said, the exhaust has a nice subtle hum to it. It's not dead silent, but it's not loud or obnoxious either. All right, let's take off here. So we're still in paddle shifter mode. Oh, I'm just getting this back to drive. <laughs> wow, it just lights up the front tires. That's crazy. I don't know if this one has a limited slip differential or not. I'm not sure. I'll have to look that up, but... But yeah, like compared to the GTI, this thing feels just as fast, if not a tiny bit quicker. But this thing spins like crazy. So I can't even imagine this thing from a standstill. It probably just lights up the tires. Which makes it really fun, kind of like the, the Challenger Hellcat effect where it burns out so much it's fun, but I don't know if you're gonna be going anywhere. But wow, that's really impressive. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed my quick little review of this Hyundai Sonata inline. I'm um, definitely really impressed. I'm not a huge fan of like the steering wheel and some of the exterior designs and stuff, but it drives amazing. The dual clutch is really good and it's really fast. So I highly recommend this vehicle if you guys are interested. Please give it a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.